Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Lenovo IdeaPad 320. The exact model is the 17 IKB model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your internal battery. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. Then we're going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. So as you can see, you have quite a lot of screws here. You have these four on the bottom edge of my screen, these three up here on the right, these two here on the left, these three on the top, and then you have these three in the middle. As a side note, guys, if you're just here to replace your DVD drive, this is the only screw you have to remove. Um, after removing that, you can take a small flat metal pry tool and slide it in this crack and gently press this to the left to get it to slide out. But be careful, these are known to pop off and break if you use too much force. So that's how you'd get that out. Also, to get the bottom case off after removing all the screws, this would have to come out anyway to get the bottom case off. After all the screws are gone, you're gonna take a small, flat, plastic pry tool and go across the entire seam of the bottom case, gently prying it off from the rest of the computer. Now don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some components, so keep it on the outside edge. Go slow and gentle, but be firm and pry that off. Also use extra care here. After this DVD drive has been removed, it's a very thin, very breakable piece of plastic there, um, and you have to pry that off, so be very careful there. After you have the bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. As a side note, guys, with any computer repair, I have this computer sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet, tools like that go a long way to help you avoid damaging things when you're working on your computer. If you guys need any help with any tools or supplies like that, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model, the battery, the hard drive, the various other components, there will be a link up top also below in the description. It'll have all the tools in my shop that I used in this project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts, again, for this specific model. Okay, so here's your internal battery right here on the right-hand side. As you can see, there's a screw here toward the right of my screen, a screw here on top, and one down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Those are the three screws that need to be undone to remove this battery. The battery plug is right here. In order to get this out, you would pull straight down, pull this black plug out of this metal port. There's not a lot of room there to grab the actual plug, so this is one of those annoying cases where you may have to pull it by the wire. Just make sure you're careful, guys. Grab it as close to the plug as possible since you have to put a lot of strain on those wires. Now this battery, for those of you looking for a replacement, the model number is an L16C2PB2. I'll have all the battery specs below in the description in the FAQs. And again, if you're looking for a replacement battery, there'll be some suggestions in that link below in the description. Okay, so that's the video. That's how you would access the internal battery. I hope this video was helpful, helped you get inside, access that battery. If you have any questions, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.